What's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy, Dan V. Hoods and News. We right here on 8th and R Street. Uh, this neighborhood territory is known as uh, 9th Street Compound, LW. LW stands for Lincoln Westmoreland, which are the uh, high-rise apartments right here. Actually, at one point, this was old Lincoln Westmoreland, but I think they either sold the, par sold the property right here or... Uh, uh, sold the property or they just changed the name so they can invite the new neighbors around the community and so forth but yeah we right here on the lower parts of uptown uh, this right here so I forgot what the name of these apartments is but yeah this right here 8th Knife and uh, Knife Street is really like Knife and Road Island but this whole territory is known as Knife Street for real for real you know what I'm saying we're going to take a little bit to the high rises and so forth it's not going to be a long talk because it's not really a big neighborhood for real so yeah, basically, this is not like a real big neighborhood. We're just going to show. I just showed this apartment right here. I showed these parts right here. I'm going to just show you how the high rise on 7th Street. So, like, yeah. So, basically, we're on the lower end of 9th Street compound. Uh, this neighborhood is known for some beef. Uh, uh, 7th Street back in 08, 07, 08 mostly. But I don't, I don't really think they're going to put some still. But I don't know if it's as bad as it used to be. I know when I was in school, these bangers was like, bow, bow, every weekend, you know what I'm saying? Go to the back end right here. So, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I grew up, like, not too far from this neighborhood. You know, my, my neighborhood where I grew up around Lee Joy Park, right up the street. Like, right up the street. They real cool with the park, you know what I'm saying? They just always had history with them bammers up 7th Street. Not them bammers like y'all some bammers, but just like, you know. You know, I'm just. And this right here. They, this is actually an extension to the complex right here. They actually adding this part to the to the complex and so forth. But yeah, this right here is the high rise right here. You know what I'm saying? This is actually going to be a housing complex. That they're making for people, you know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, y'all get the, you know, if y'all signed up, y'all gonna be accepted to get up in here. It look real nice, man. I ain't even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get ready to walk to Mon Dude's house, but I'm just show y'all the high rise right here. This is like a little slight tour, it ain't really too much of anything. You know what I'm saying? You guys, I used to some wild shit up in this, bro. This motherfucker, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, okay. time. Fuck that shit. Ugh. Yeah, right here. The high rise, right here. Yeah, yeah. They used to call it a cell box something back in them days, like back in them days, but I forgot, CB8 or CB something, I don't know. But right here, 1730, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I'm done with that, so. <laughs> it's your boy David Hills, and I'm gone. Yeah, this is like a second part right here. I'm gonna add this to my 9th Street compound since the video is so short. Uh, right here, uh, this right here is known as the legendary 6 and S uh, on lower uptown area. Technically, really downtown for real, for real. But yeah, we like a little bit lower, right by the Howard Theater. Ain't really nobody around here no more. Really, nobody really around here. Probably like if anybody, it's probably one house. Somebody living there. But yeah, this neighborhood used to be like a real drug infested neighborhood back in them days. You know what I'm saying? Like in them uh, mid '90s, early 2000s. Then they started raising the rent, just getting people out of here. People start selling their homes and they just start rolling out or they just couldn't fall forward what they live in. They had a little small, like a real tiny apartment complex that Bamas used to post up at right there. If anything, they probably still got, they, they probably still have some, like some six and S dudes that live like right there on Rhode Island Avenue. But besides this neighborhood, it's completely gentrified. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them also moved around uh, 9th Street too. So you might catch some six and S dudes around ninth, ninth street, uh, ninth street LW and all that other good stuff. Uh, 
Yeah, the original six and that's dudes. It's not really nobody around here no more. I just wanted to show it, you know what I'm saying? It might be some people in Rhode Island, but that's basically it. They're not going to be there too long anyway. Cause they, you know what I'm saying? They probably can't keep up with the property and so forth. Or just some people just don't want to live out here no more. I don't know. My man Devin used to live over there. My man, man, man used to live on Rhode Island. You know what I'm saying? So I know a couple of dudes from uh, Six and S. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, ain't really nobody around here no more. But, like, seems like these houses right here was abandoned. You know what I'm saying? Back in, then, like, right here we on Fifth and S. You know what I'm saying? They used to claim their own self, but I guess you could consider that now, like, Six and S territory. But there's really no Six and S territory. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nobody around here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's crazy, though. But it is what it is, though, man. Um, I'm going to just leave it like it is, man. Um, yeah, if you see, you come around here, you walk through here, you be like, damn, what the fuck happened? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's all I got to say, man. It's your boy, David Hudson News. I'm gone.